You know, mm -hmm. I've been keeping a diary, a journal, since I was a little girl. And so I have my, my dear, dear diary from when I was eight years old. And then there was a, you know, a bit of space there when I didn't write in the diary anymore. And then when I was a teenager, so I have journaled from um, when Ron and I were dating and he broke my heart and then we got back together. All of that's written to approaching our wedding day, to after the wedding, to when I found out I was pregnant with each of my kids. I've journaled all of that mm -hmm. to the dark times in life, to the really heavy duty stuff where you're angry with God. Mm -hmm. God can take it. I love that, yeah, that God can take it. We can be so honest with him and say, I'm not very happy with you right now. Write it out because I find that as I'm writing it out, he's kind of speaking in and through me. And before long, I'm writing out, but I trust you, God. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this, but I know that you're in control and I still trust you. And so that's the great thing about this month's pick of the month, Cheryl, <laughs> is the gratitude journal that we are encouraging our viewers to get a copy of this for yourself and we'll give you the information again in a moment if you missed and, it. And show them how pretty it is. It's and so it is pretty. so pretty. Well, you have to see how personal <laughs> it is too, oh. to full circle. I don't know if you can get this. Okay, you open it up and there we hey, are, full okay. circle. It's a full circle yeah. Journal. And it's it's all of our contact information. In fact, even here is the twenty four hour prayer line. The phone number is written and you down know there. I love it. Let me just Look at it. So here's my journal that I would walk around with everywhere. And here's <laughs> the other journal. So as you can see in size, it's so much more accessible. And you know, like I used to carry around my journal everywhere because even when I was in at um, church or at conferences, I would take my journal, write things down and go, you know, I want to process that mm -hmm. after. And this is so, it can fit in any woman's bag. I mean, mm -hmm. let's be honest, our bags, yeah. this is perfect to carry yeah. around. I love it. And I yeah. love all the verses inside and the quotes are just mm -hmm. amazing. I was looking at them this morning and I was just saying, oh, I want to have this in my office to even put together the show. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Many... A lot of the quotes from this book will be coming up on future exactly. Full Circle shows. I know, they're yeah. so beautiful. And another thing I really like about this is that, ev like you said, Cheryl, there's a lot of quotes, but every other page, I don't know if you can see that, John. Um, there's a list on the left side of quotes by famous authors. On the right side, starts with a scripture and then it's the page for you to journal your thoughts, your life. The next page is scripture verses on one side and then again, you can keep journaling. So every day you've got some inspiration, you've got something that you can think about, you can mull over. It's almost like uh, journaling your devotions. Yeah really mm -hmm. with the Lord. You can write down this scripture really means a lot to me and God's and, speaking to and me and through it. Make it your own because I'm creative. So I mean, sometimes I didn't want to write, so I cut out pictures. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I wanted somebody to like be with me. So I actually have, you know, my nieces and nephews and even a friend wrote something in here with me. So it was something that we could do together. Mm -hmm. And I think for this journal, you make it your own personal thing. No one else will ever have to read this, but I'm going to write out what I feel God is saying to me mm -hmm. today through the verses that I'm reading, through my circumstances in my life, through my girlfriends. Mm -hmm that are calling me up and saying, hey Mel, I'm just thinking about you today and, and I just have a word for you that I think God wants you to know that he's got it all under control. Don't worry about a thing or whatever. Because I know we send each other emails about that, but how cool would it be to actually write it down yeah. and have it to refer back to later? And I think parents too, you know, it's a great encouragement because I was telling you before the show that that's how I learned how to journal when I was probably seven or eight years old. My parents sent me out with a little book like that and my Bible and a pen into nature. And they said, okay, what I want you to do is first of all, you, you sit there and you, you um, read your Bible and then you do a little worship time to the Lord, sing him a song. You know, Aww. Jesus, I, Jesus so loves me or something. I, I don't know. Yeah. That. We'll share a little song. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want you don't, you don't want to, Jesus appreciates it, but I'm not sure everyone else would. It's the whole joyful noise thing. And then yeah. they're like, you know, repent for what you've done wrong, forgive the people you need to forgive, and then just be quiet and let God speak to you. And what you think he's saying to you, I want you to write it in the journal and bring it to us and we'll tell you if it's really God, you know? So I would go and do that. I'd go out in nature in the woods somewhere and I would, you know, try to listen and I'd come back and it would be like, Cheryl, I love you. You're my daughter, you know, everything yeah. else. And they'd read it and they'd go, that's biblical. That's that's is, Jesus yeah. speaking to you, you know. And yeah. and I've kept that up my whole life. And you know, if people, um, you know, if you give me a verse one day and mm -hmm. say, Cheryl, I think this is for you, or mm -hmm. if just different ways in my mm -hmm. life, it's not always like direct, like you know, Cheryl, yeah. this is God. Yeah. But just all the different ways the that voice God gets deep when you yeah, think the Morgan, God's the Morgan talking. Freeman voice. I know, voice. I know. Morgan Freeman yeah. talking. Just to all you. the different right. ways that God speaks to my life. Yeah. I journal that. And when I have discouraged and down days where I just feel like, what is going on in my life, or where are you? I go back and I read mm -hmm. through my journal and I, okay, God, you prepared me for this. I see here where you were working on this area and I see what you've done now and I remember how faithful you were in this time and mm. 
For me, it's it's literally a lifeblood. Like I literally, you know, it's like there's the word of God and then there's the works of God, you know, mm -hmm. or, or the or the, the now word, yeah, I guess, yeah. in a way, you know, and as long as it's biblical yeah. and according to his nature, mm -hmm. then it's beautiful. And, and what I love when we, sh we saw Anne Vascom, Vascom, sorry, yeah. uh, like earlier, what I love, it, it can be really simple. Like she in her book says, thank you God for the smell of clean sheets. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what? Yeah. And it's like, thank you God for the smell of coffee in the morning. And all of a sudden you go, I can actually be grateful and thankful for these little things in my life. Like it doesn't have to be these huge moments we're waiting for it and then we're gonna write in the journal about this massive miracle that took place. She's like, no, you get a journal like this and you write in little things and simple things and things you see around you know, your life and little things that God is mm -hmm. doing or what people are saying and it can be that simple. It's just you have to start doing it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing for a lot of people. It's like scared about what this means, but you just have to start and just you know be what? as simple as that's you can. That's one of the reasons I am so excited about the Sofa Circle. And it's yeah. it's uh, if you're just hearing about the Sofa Circle now, it really is. It's kind of like the club in support of Full Circle. It's us saying to you, how about joining us here in Full Circle in a financial way by helping us every single month, um, whatever you can afford, of course, but to join the Sofa Circle Club, we've been told that it is a minimum of $35 a month, but as soon as you do sign up and join and this process begins, you will receive your very own Full Circle mug. We can have coffee together with you every day using our mugs, as well as you'll receive automatically in your home. You won't even have to ask for it every month. It'll just come to your mailbox every month, our pick of the month. And so for this month, our pick of the month is this prayer gratitude journal that we've been talking about. And so we are just so excited to get it into your hands. Cheryl, how do they do that? Well, yeah, absolutely. You, know, you can go to our website at fullcircletv.com and the information is there on the screen. Uh, you know, you can write to us and uh, I guess there's a way to set up a monthly a monthly uh, charge to do that. So it's we've made it really easy. Yeah, and there's a lot of benefits to joining the Sofa Circle as well, besides getting your mug and getting the resource. And I do pretty, love the mug. That is a pretty journal. I was actually looking at that. Like, that's a journal that I would look at mm -hmm. at any store and go, I want to buy that because mm -hmm. it's actually pretty and goes with everything and, and my my purse yeah along with the <laughs> oh, yeah wow. well of course well, you if know, it matches my purses, exactly yeah. but along the lines of that these are our picks of yeah. the month these are personal to us these are things that we'd think I would really like that or this is something that I could see adding to my life and I think in future months we're going to do some of our favorite books that have been significant in our lives as our picks of the month as well. So we just want to encourage you to join the Sofa Circle. And, and you know what I think what I love about this is that these are from past shows, our experiences of things that we've learned that were important. Like I remember when Anne was here and we were like we all need to do a journal and the books that we pick those are things because their story resonated with us or that theme of tragedy or hope resonated with us us on the couch and we know that these are universal themes that we know that our viewers and friends you know need as well like I mean they they would they would want to learn along with us and so we're just expanding the circle like you know that's what I'm saying it's like this is for us but we're also wanting to open it up to everybody else so that they can join in with us yeah. and it keeps expanding the circle as well because there's lots of women who haven't tuned in yet who yeah. need to see full mm -hmm. circle you know mm -hmm. I, yeah. we often think of you know women who are interested in spiritual things but maybe need to grow more in their relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus and mm -hmm. we want to help that so when you uh, you know join the sofa circle we minister to you by our picks but you minister to us and to our to our yeah. new friends that will come aboard and your friends mm -hmm. by keeping us on the air which yeah. is another great benefit. And we want to hear from them like I think yeah. this isn't something that we just give out to them but we want like on Facebook and mm -hmm. an email to say the journal helped me because mm -hmm. this is what I learned while doing this and so I think that is going to be exciting for us to get that feedback in the next you know months and or so. And I think so. we should challenge people to journal like yes. you get, who get this like, <laughs> yeah. I, like do it you know like write to us and tell us like did you do it did you do gratitude every day what yeah. difference did it make? Mm -hmm. What pictures did you cut out and put in? Yeah. <laughs> what recipes are in there? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. As we do, all three of us journal, and mm -hmm. I think we all need to get our, we will have our yeah. own copies. This is mine. You can't oh, have it, but I'll make sure you girls can <laughs> yeah, get yeah. your own copies too. We will kind of keep each other accountable mm -hmm. too and say, so how's it going with the journaling? Because it really does help to strengthen you yeah. and your walk with the Lord when you're just genuine and authentic and open with Him and write it out like Melinda said, you know, be honest with Him. If you're angry, let Him know. He already knows it. He just wants to hear from your heart. And as you do that, you'll find that you grow in your walk with God. And remember, the prayer lines are always available for you as well. Well, thanks for being with us here on Full Circle. And remember, always keep your eyes on Jesus. It's all about Him.